Welcome to TDV8 channel. Um, today I will demonstrate you, uh, or for the viewers that are using STD, um, I will demonstrate you how to access engineering mode without needing a password and also without any kind of crack. It's very simple. I hope you are able to, to see my, my display. I'm running STD version 130. It is, it's quite old, but it's a, it's a good one to be used uh, offline. Uh, and uh, I will demonstrate you how to do it. You, I have not connected uh, to the car yet. Uh, you know, I'm using this, uh, the Mongols Pro. But uh, what I tell you, show you, will work with any adapter you are using, okay? There are also any, uh, uh, some different adapters. It does not matter. Uh, first of all, if, if you have, uh, by the way, I believe it should ha work with the most SED versions. So you should try. I don't know, you know, they have so many others newer than mine but uh, I, I believe it will work as well. So, what should we do? Uh, you go, uh, after you have installed your STD, you go uh, in, in Explorer, Windows Explorer, you see my computer, okay? You look in a, in a disk C, okay? Oh. You look for uh, program files, okay, and then you look for JLR, okay, Jaguar Land Rover directory, you open it, and then you have IDS, you open it, and then you look for a directory, directory, sorry, a folder, call it run time you open it okay oh sorry it's very difficult to film and operate my notebook then you look for a html file and call it software download okay I'm looking here. You not need to start STD, okay? Software download, software download, where is that? Okay, okay, software manager. Okay, you see here. Okay, you can see where I have my cursor there. I will try to, okay. Um, okay, this this file you open with your browser, okay, internet browser. You double click on this file, and you have a big surprise. Look at that. Wait, I have an old simple notebook. I apologize for that. So then you have here Jaguar or Land Rover. Okay, I will choose Land Rover. Sorry, I will choose Land Rover. Okay, then you you get the logo Land Rover here on the right, and then this file will ask you enter the last six digits of the vehicle identification number. You should know it. Look, in my case, because the resolution of my my screen. The, the zero is quite difficult to identify, but uh, okay, two zero, uh, I think is nine, three, f four, seven, okay. Then after you have entered the last six digits of, of the vehicle identification number, you should just 
click on, on, on the green tick here. Okay? And then you have a list of different Land Rover models here. And you will look for your model. Okay? I have a Range Rover Sport 2009. So, uh, it's nothing better here. I can see Range Rover Sport 2007 to 2009 and Diesel V8. I just click one time here. I mark in blue here. Then go here to the right and give an OK here. OK, what will happen? And then you will make some questions about your car. Of course, you should know your car well enough to be able to answer it, OK? And then it's asking if you have, uh, in my case, I have a... Uh, 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 a premium audio system okay but does not matter uh, okay it's just and then it has king high definition radio module fitted and so on adaptive front light fitted I, I you go just okay okay and everything just to go quicker okay to, to demonstrate it I'm sorry the picture filming with my mobile phone and the, this old notebook is not so good I will just put that I have everything okay just to go ahead and to go to the point what I want to show you but you don't do it please you have to define your car cor correctly Okay, I'm doing this just as demonstration. I'm not connected to my car. Okay, and then after DVD region, Europe, Australia, and so on. Okay. Europe. Okay. And then you have an explanation here, how it works. Okay. And then you have car configuration management, module programming, setup and configuration, special applications, module information, add remove accessories. It's a dream, right? Okay, let's go here, car configuration management, just to give an example. And then you have session, active car configuration selection, current vehicle car configuration modification. Um, I will not do that because I'm not connected. I will just show you the other options. Then you have here sub menus. Then you have configure new modules, configure existing modules. Let's say we will configure existing modules. Then you have audio amplifier module, audio front control module, cellular telephone, blah, blah, blah. You have diesel. For example, I have done it today. Okay. I have configured my diesel powertrain control module, okay, and 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 so on. Um, setup and configuration, okay. You have security. Security. If I'm not confused, I think you can program key, new keys for your car. You can program the third button of the key fob, okay. You can, uh, for example, for example, very interesting. Uh, it's also useful for me because I, I since last year, I'm I'm making renewing my brakes by myself. So you can bleed your brake here. You can steering angle sensor calibration, and and so on. But you can see that uh, everything that you normally will be able to do if you get the code for the engineering mode you can do here and it works because today I can show you uh, special applications it's very interesting 
uh, in the powertrain setup, okay, I have made a turbo EGR and air path dynamic test because I am I am I, I have been if you if you could see my other videos I have some misfire I was making um, uh, injector injectors uh, purge I I am also making decarbonization and all this improve my car but I was still not happy and I say something is not okay maybe uh, EGR any, any any sensor and this uh, the result was interesting I I got some information that I will look now I, I will probably have to go to a workshop because I cannot do that uh, but uh, probably maybe some pipes I'm getting some some air uh, in, in the system some pipes are maybe damaged I could not find anything but uh, it could be the case and this test is, is very very thing you can also see if you go here because I, I have a, a, a video showing how to use a, 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 a dongle to make a, a dynamic uh, particulate filter dynamic regeneration but you can do it also here okay but uh, you can also make it without moving the car. I think it takes uh, half an hour, and uh, you have to keep the the uh, the motor. I, I I I'm not sure. Maybe three and a half thousand uh, RPM for half an hour is quite quite a lot, quite long. Uh, it is something that the dealer can do and uh, yeah i hope i could help you it works i have been using it today and i hope you are very happy with this demonstration and uh, please like my video and subscribe my channel i i'm sure i will come again with other surprises for you i i am really forgetting something very important uh, if you are accustomed to use STD, you are probably aware of that. When you are programming modules, because I have seen on the internet people saying, oh, I bought uh, the wrong adapter, I break my uh, car w uh, programming, trying to program and so on. And I, I think the, the, the biggest mistake by many people and they don't know when you are doing this in your car um, you need to connect it a very strong charger to your battery okay my experience when you are doing that uh, the current drain is near 20 amps or more and your battery will not hold it any longer and you could damage your your uh, ECU when you are doing that. So connect a, a, a charger with at least third amps to your battery and also wait until the battery is also full charged. Probably the battery will not be. And after that, just after that, start in doing or trying to make any programming or anything with the ECUs in your car. And uh, also, don't do what you don't know, please. Uh, you can make a lot of mistakes. I Today, I, I will try to, in this video, uh, afterwards, I will edit it and uh, I will put some, probably some, some things I have done. But I have uh, adjusted the idle, the motor idle. I have uh, checked so many things today. It was wonderful. After I have found this possibility to go in the runtime directory and start the software download file separately. So you don't need to start STD, but you, have to, you need to have it installed in your notebook correctly and working. 
and uh, all this is done offline okay and uh, yeah thank you again bye bye